Hello everyone, welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophet Lou. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we thank you for today, Father God. We ask you, Father God, to give us understanding of this devotion. Help us apply it to our lives. Help us to change, Father God. Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it. In Jesus' name, amen. So our memory verse of the week is, this is this last day. Um, this is our last day on the memory verse of the week, which is Proverbs nineteen seventeen. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his deeds. Verse of the day is Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. Subject humbling ourselves. Christian truths. I'm gonna say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm not prideful. I am humble. I'm clothed with God. I'm listening to God. Read time is ten minutes and fifteen seconds. God will give us every opportunity to get it right. We will often get it wrong again. I have messed up a lot in my life. And when I go to God, I think there's no way he would give me another chance to get it right. And he does. He doesn't want his children lost. That's what grace is for. Now, a lot of us don't think he would give us grace. And, and we think, oh, I dropped the ball again this time. There's no way he's going to give me another chance. And he will. And But we must be humble and seek his face and hear Him, hear from him. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. The verse tells us if my people will call on my name and humble themselves and seek me, reading our word, praying, meditating, turning from what we are doing, He will heal us. But we, but what we we do, we must stop doing what we are doing. Do do we? leave our comforts to be able to have the second chance and it's hard sometimes to get out of such sin because once it becomes a habit but when we ask god to help us we genuinely want to change and he and we will have victory victory isn't claimed often because we think it's possible it might be impossible for us, but everything is possible with God. Matthew nineteen twenty six. Jesus looked at them and said, "With men, men, this this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible." How many times have you tried to change something in your strength and couldn't do it? How many times have you tried to get the victory but didn't seek Jesus for it, and you failed? We must seek Jesus for the strength and mindset and achieve it. Second Second Samuel twelve thirteen. And David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Nathan replied, the Lord has taken away your sin. You are not going to die. Look at David taking ownership of his sin. It took Nathan to tell him a story. Nathan told it, told him it was about him. But after that, he, he said, I have sinned. And Nathan told him the Lord took it all away. That's how simple it is for us. When we sin, we go to God with a clear heart and he will show us the way back to him. He won't just leave us. He will always show us what we did and show us a way back to the right path. Jonah 3 and 5. Then people in Nineveh believed, believed God and they claimed they fast and put on sackcloth in the, in, from the greatest in, from to, the, to even the least of them. Look at another example. Nineveh. They were told their wrongdoings and what was going to happen to them. And they immediately turned away from what they were doing. They put on sackcloth, not just the king, but to the greatest, to the least of them. Because they thought, if I cry out to God, he's such, he's such a merciful God, he would change his mind. And a lot of us don't try to change up what we are doing. We continue to do what we want and expect God to move amidst of our sins. We, he, he won't do it, my friends. He, he just won't. We must go to God with a contrite heart asking for a second chance. It's not a lot in this life where we will get a second chance. Some things we make one mistake and people and places won't give you a, a chance to fix it. Or if you fix it, the problem, try to fix the problem. It comes with penalties or it comes with a late fee. Or if you don't pay your credit card on time, there's a late fee. Plus, you lose points on your credit score. See, it's a chain reaction to everything when we miss one step. Still, God doesn't do that. When we come to him and say, I'm sorry, he's there to forgive us. He's there to help show us the way. The, this brings me to what we studied this week. We don't know it all. We might feel like we do, but if we don't know, we must go to God and ask him to show us a way and he would do it. But we must be willing to let go of the reins and allow him to, to lead us. James 3 and 13, who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show if they... 
if by let them show it by their good life and deeds are done in the humility that comes from wisdom it tells us here if we are wise we must live a life of humility humility is a big one in some of our lives we don't know how to be humble with what we have or how or no and sometimes being prideful can cause us to go down a path the lord never wants us to stay on still we are on, we, we are there because we allow the wrong mindset to take over instead of the mindset of christ philippians 2 and 5 in the relationship with one another have the same mindset as christ jesus our mind can have us thinking the wrong things and our mind can can speak negativity to us in a heartbeat just like that but to gain control over our mind we must pray for the mind of christ we sometimes allow the enemy to speak to us and leave negative things in our head and we slowly start to believe it which causes us to think maybe this is what i am maybe this is what he's speaking is accurate and it's not what the enemy tries to do is stops us from trying to have the same mind that is in christ Verse 7, instead he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness. This goes all the way back to what we talked about earlier. We must be humble to receive the forgiveness of God. We must be humble to receive the mindset of Christ. Being humble doesn't just help one thing in our life. It helps a lot in our life because we are showing God, I am wrong and I'm humble enough to admit it. Or if or I am humble enough to do anything for the kingdom of, of God. And a lot of people won't to be pastors and prophets still no one wants to be an usher no one wants to be a deacon but if we humble ourselves god will open the door for more opportunities to present himself humble humble is saying i just want to do what i can for the kingdom of god humble is saying i misstep but help me humble is saying i need help but even though i know where i went wrong god loves a humble heart and a humble spirit are you humble verse 15 so you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a, in a robbed and crooked, crooked, crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. In this generation, it's hard to find someone who's willing to be humble and blameless. But when we are humble we are and we are blameless and we are walking on the path of God gave us, we will be bright as the stars. People will see we are different because we are allowing not our light to, not our light to shine, not our wisdom, but we are allowing the light of God to shine through us. That was something we learned this week, that our light can shine through when we allow God to move in and through our life. Today, we learned it's hard to walk on our path. On our path. We must know what path we are on, and we do this through God. We're and where he shows us to walk in, we must walk in that way. We might feel like we want everything to go this way, but we must be humble and say, I know the path he's placing me on and is better than what the path I was walking. God wants us to turn from our wicked ways and walk in him. A lot of us don't know how to turn, but He, we, we turn from it all by letting go of the things we want to do and accept the way of God. Romans 13 and 14, rather clothe yourself with the lord, lord your lord jesus christ and do not think about how to gratify the, the desires of the flesh when we say i have missed up god can you help help us but we can't go back to gratifying the flesh we must clothe ourselves with the presence of god and we do this by spending time with god praying reading our bible a lot of us saying it's hard to get close to god what do you clothe yourself with some of us are worried about what we look like on the outside, but what are you spiritually covering yourself with? Are you walking in the ways of God? Today, if you feel this is what you're doing, give yourself to God and ask him to show you the way and he will. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We ask you to be with us and clothe us with your presence. Father, help us to be more like you and have a mindset of you. Lord, we are sorry for what we have done. We ask you to give us grace and mercy to do what you want and give us another opportunity to get it right. We aren't always right, but we thank you for teaching us humility. We want to see you, Father. Please allow this devotion to be a light into our feet. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Our reference, Matthew 18, 21 through 22. And then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often would my brother sin against me? And I forgive as many as seven times. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 77 times. Matthew 18, 21 through 22. Isaiah 4 and 3. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Isaiah 4 and 3. Romans 5 and 8. But God showed his love for us in, in that while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. Romans 5 and 8. Further reading, Proverbs 12, Luke 21, 1 Thessalonians 1, and Revelation 5. This ends 
humbling ourselves. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow any platform. Remember to share with family member or friend. If you have time, please go to social media and share this particular podcast. And if you have a few more seconds, please go to YouTube and like and subscribe. And remember, at the bottom will be your memory verse, your verse of the day, your further reading, and links to read this devotional. Thank you. Be blessed.